tunaendelea na mood ya Christmas. Hata kama Christmas iliisha, we are still in the mood of Christmas. And uh, we are asking ourselves, tunajiuliza, what happened? What il, happened? Ilifanyika nini? And Luke chapter 2. Luke 2 is the, the, the chapter that every time we have a Christmas carol, this is where we read. We read what happened. But there are three groups of people that I want to pick today. I'll speak about two. And I'll share a little bit about Jesus. And then we'll be done. There were shepherd, verse number eight living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. Verse number 25. Now there was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon, who was a righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Verse number 36, there was also a prophet Anna, the daughter of Penuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was very old. She had lived with her husband seven years after her marriage. And then she was a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple, but worshipped night and day, fasting and praying. Our Heavenly Father, our prayer is that you will speak to us in a language we can understand. Baba yetu na Mungu wetu tunaomba ya kwamba utatunenea kwa lugha ambayo tutaelewa. For this we ask in Jesus name. Kwa hii tunaomba kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. In verse number 21. Um mstari wa 21. This is what the Bible says. Hivi ndivyo neno linasema. On the eighth day. Siku ya nane. When it, was, when it was time to circumcise the child. He was named Jesus. Yesu. The name the angel had given him before he was conceived. If, if, you, if, if you like looking at the scriptures. Ukitaka kuangalia kwa Biblia, unless we are having the drama, the concert. Isipokuwa tukue na hiyo drama ama concert There are many things that sometimes we assume Kuna vitu mingi sana ambao tunaziangalia tu kwa chini Or they are covered Ama zimefunikwa By the fact of the Christmas tree and the Christmas gifts Na ile wakati ama zile vi, uh, zawadi ambao tunapokea But let us unpack what was happening around this time Lakini nataka tutoe kila kitu ambacho kilikuwa kinafanyika. The events that take place on the eighth day. Yale mambo ambayo yalifanyika hiyo siku ya nane. That means counting the day from his birth. Hiyo inamaanisha kuhesabu tangu siku alipozaliwa. It simply means Jesus was circumcised, circumcised when he was one week old. Inamaanisha ya kwamba Yesu alitahiri akiwa na wiki moja peke yake. hold that. Secondly, the right of circumcision goes back to the book of Genesis 17. Where the Lord ordered Abraham and all his male descendants to be circumcised. Verse 10 and 12. Of chapter 17. Every male among you shall be circumcised. Circumcised. You are to undergo circumcision and you to be the sign of the covenant between me and you. For the generation to come, every male among you who is eight days old must be circumcised. So we are getting it from there. The third thing that we find as we unwrap this that the Lord is followed, the command of the Lord is still followed by observant Jews today. 
ya kwamba sheria za Bwana bado zinafuatwa na Wayahudi hata wa leo. This act of circumcision ili jambo la Inaitwa breeze. breeze. And sometimes spelled brit which means covenant. Ambalo inamaanisha kutoa hagano. The full term if you call it if you are you call it brismilla. Hiyo wakati yote inaitwa brismilla. Which means to cut the covenant. Ambayo inamaanisha kukata hiyo hagano. And the breeze is performed on the eighth day. Na hiyo breeze inafanyikanga wakati wa siku ya nane. The breeze ceremony has two parts. Hiyo breeze ceremony iko na One mambo is mawini. the actual circumcision. Ya kwanza ni ile tu kutahiri ya kawaida. And the second is the naming of the child. Na ya pili ni kumpatia jina mtoto. So a child is circumcised. Kwa hivyo mtoto anatahiri. And the pa- and the and the baby is given a name. Na basi mtoto anapewa jina. And the person who does this is called Mohel. Na yule mtu ambaye anafanya hivi anaitwa Mohel who receives special training in the medical aspects of circumcision and various aspects of Jewish law and tradition. So Mohel Nemuruidia is the guy who circumcises. Ule anafanya hiyo kazi. The ceremony is both joyous and solemn. Hiyo wakati ni wa furaha sana. And it is also solemn. Na bado imetulia. Wonderful. Amen. It is an opportunity for the father and mother to thank God for their their newborn child. Ni nafasi nzuri ambao mama na baba wanapewa nafasi ya kuwapatia kupatia mtoto wao jina. To honor it is for the father and mother to thank God for their newborn child. Ni wakati wa mama na baba kumshukuru Mungu kwa mtoto wao mgeni. And to honor their own parents and relatives to participate in their happy occasion. Na kuheshimu wazazi wao ili kushiriki katika hiyo wakati. The ceremony begins by the baby being carried placed on a pillow. Hiyo sherehe inaanza wakati mtoto anabebwa kwa pilo. And then placed on a chair that they call Kaisha or Elijah's chair. Alafu anawekelewa kwa kiti ambayo inaitwa Elijah. And the Mohal recites a prayer. Na Mohal anatoa maombi. Then the baby is placed on the lap of Sadiq, a person who holds the baby for the actual breeze. Wazazi wako nje. Then after the circumcision, the baby is carried back to the parents. Baada ya kutahiri mtoto anarudishiwa wazazi so that the, the mother can feed him kwa sababu ndio huyo mtoto ndio mnaelewa eh hakuna kisu kidogo hata kwa mtoto najua kuna wengine wana Chicago na makanga wanawekwa kwa mkokoteni kwa sababu alikataa kupitia kwa hiyo kisu kwa sababu inakuwa kali kwanza ukiwa mtu mzima unaiogopa wengi wanaiogopa so mtoto amepelekewa wazazi ili anyonye number four, it is impossible then to overestimate the importance of circumcision to the jew ni vigumu sana kuweza kulinganisha hiyo wakati wa tohara ya wayahudi it is the most fundamental precept of the jews religion ni kitu muhimu sana kwa Wayahudi. The ultimate symbol of Jewish identity and the means by which a Jewish male enters the covenant of God made with Abraham. So fifthly, Jesus was circumcised first and foremost because he was born a Jew. Yesu alizaliwa wa kwanza kwa sababu alitahiri wa kwanza kwa sababu alikuwa Muyahudi. If you read in the book of Matthew Ukisoma kitabu cha Mathayo The record of the genealogy of Jesus Hiyo kuelezea kuhusu Yesu It starts by saying Christ the son of David the son of Abraham 
ina, inaanza na kusema ya kwamba Yesu mwana wa Daudi mwana wa Abraham So Jesus was circumcised as a Jew Kwa hivyo Yesu alitahiri kama Mwayahudi Number 6 this is just trying to unwrap it I hope we will get something out of it Number 6 ndio anataka tufungue ili uelewe vizuri The circumcision of Jesus figures into the Christian year if Jesus was born on December 25th, then the eighth day would be one week. Basi ingekuwa wiki moja. Which is Ambayo ni Which is Ambayo ni Which is Which is Ambayo ni kutoka tare shirina tano mpaka Siogeze sikunane hapo. Ati? Ati? Sisi Ni watu wagapi wanasema ni third? Hakuna. Aya, ni watu wagapi wanasema first? Oh, ni watu wagapi wanasema second? Aya, wale wanasema first ni kwa sababu wanaanza 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31 first. I think those ones are correct. Why are you losing one day? Kwa nini unapoteza hiyo siku moja? Hiyo ulizaliwa hiyo unaanza hiyo moja, unaenda baka nane. See, si, si vizuri 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 1st. So it is on the 8th day which is our new year. Is it? Basi ni tarehe nane ambao ni ndio siku yetu ya kwanza And ya January 1st is called the feast of circumcision or the feast of the holy name. Na January tarehe moja inakuanga ya kusherekea jina mpya ama jina takatifu. 7. Tarehe Th- seven. Though our text does not emphasize it, circumcision is a joyful occasion. Ingawaje haielezei vizuri lakini wakati wa tohara ni wakati wa kusherekea. Family and friends gather around to celebrate the boy's entrance into the Asian covenant of the Jewish people. Marafiki wanakuja kusherekea kwa sababu ya huyu mtoto ambaye amefuata njia za wa Wayahudi. Amen. Amen. We number 8 Nane. Circumcision did not take place at the temple in Jerusalem, most likely. Most likely, Jesus was circumcised in the home in Bethlehem, where Mary and Joseph stayed after birth. Uh, and probably, Joseph himself probably performed the circumcision. Kunawezekana Yusufu na Mariamu wakati wa walifanya hiyo tohara. And probably the same day took the baby Jesus now Na kuna uwezekano hiyo siku walibeba huyo mtoto to be prayed for. Ili wakaweze kuombewa. The guys who went to Jerusalem now they can tell where Bethlehem is and where Jerusalem is. Actually ni kama kitu moja. Ni, ki, ni kama kamlima kako pale na Jerusalem wiko hapa chini. So it is it is very close. Ni karibu sana. 9 The early church fathers offered two reasons why Jesus was circumcised. Kanisa la kwanza likapeana mambo mawili ambayo inafanya kwa nini Yesu aliz Number 1 to demonstrate his obedience to the law of God. Jambo la kwanza ni kumtii Mungu. Matthew 5:17 Do not think that I have come to abolish the law of the prophets. All the prophets I have not come to abolish them but to fulfill them. It was absolutely necessary that the Lord be a 100% obedient to all of God's commands. Ilikuwa vizuri ya kwamba Yesu akue ametii sheria za Mungu zote. Number 2 to prove that he was truly human. Yeah, number number ya pili ni kuonyesha ya kwamba alikuwa binadamu. He was a human being. Alikuwa binadamu. He was truly flesh. Alikuwa na mwili wa ukweli. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana libariki. All this talk about circumcision even though it is biblical may seem out of place in the Christmas time. Aya yote ambayo naongea kuhusu 
Tohara ingawaje ni wakati wa siku kuu ama Because Christmas to us is a happy fun family time wakati wa kufurahi kupasua mbavu wakati wa kuwasha mata na makando wakati wa kusikia nyimbo za kumsifu Mungu ambazo wengine wakisikia wanasema zinaleta lalabai wakati wa kuzaliwa Yesu hakuna kitu ambacho kinaweza onyesha kitu kingine kama uh, kutairi yani inaonekana ni, ni sifa kuu wakati wa Christmas sisi ambao ni wazee kidogo tuli tuliimba eh, wenye nyumba hii tokeni msikie sifa za za kumfukuza shetani sifa za kumfukuza shetani bwana Yesu apewe sifa kwa hivyo ni kuonyesha kwamba Yesu kwanza alikuwa binadamu ndipoza akatahiriwa lakini kweli Christmas sisi tunapoitazama inakuwa ni wakati wa furaha lakini Christmas kwake Yesu haikuwa ya, ya furaha vile kwa sababu alitahiriwa wakati ule kuna kiti kizuri pale dada nikipotea unisaidie naomba ili ile saa unaona vile wamenipa dakika 20 tukienda hivi hatutamaliza lakini huyu dada huyu huyu siku moja atatafsiri hapa tutakuwa tukienda mbio naye mpaka mnashindwa niwe atakuwa ni huyu huyu lakini usiende huko ukae hapa si akae hapa ili nikishindwa nikitereza ananisaidia bwana Yesu apewe sifa kwa hivyo siku ya Christmas watu huwa <laughs> ni siku ya furaha wengine tulinunuliwa 3 in 1 wakati wa Christmas kaki ilikuwa amerika ni kaki lakini ilikuwa ni siku ya furaha unaivaa siku kumi bila kutoa unalala nayo unaamka nayo hii siku kuu ni gompia na nimeona ukikataa kuchunga sana inaweza kukufuata hata ukiwa mzee unaona kasuti umenunua Christmas unataka kukavaa every day ni mama tu anakukumbusha si ulivaa jana unajua wanaume hatuna hiyo shida unabadilisha shati tu si ndio kasuti kanakuwa ni kale kale ni sana mama ndiye atakwambia watu watasema namna gani wakati wa Christmas ni wakati wa furaha ila kwake Yesu haukuwa wakati wa furaha vile na ni lazima tuchimbue tujue kwa nini ilikuwa hivyo kwa sababu katika kuzaliwa kwake Yesu Yesu hata ingawa aliishi kama binadamu kweli hatuwezi kusema tumepitia mambo aliyopitia yeye tumepitia machache na yale tumepitia ni kwa neema yake Yes we don't deserve the peaceful lives we have hatustahili maisha tunayoishi ya amani lakini ni kwa sababu yake yeye tunaweza furahia maisha yale the merciful gifts for jesus was afflicted from the beginning yani yesu kutoka pale mwanzo alipozaliwa alizaliwa na mama ambaye alikuwa na skando unajua skando yani huyu hajaolewa na anazaa mtoto yani you know saa nyingine mimi husema si huyu Mungu ni wa ajabu angefanya Mary awe expectant leo na azae kesho amuondoe skando but Jesus is born from a very scandalous background but to bring us the good news Bwana Yesu apewe sifa secondly kuzaliwa kwake alitupwa horini yani umezaliwa hakuna mahali pa kukaa hauna nyumba hauna sijui ni <laughs> mimi sijui ni kwa nini Yusufu naye alifanya mambo ya ajabu kwani hakuwa kihesabu kwani hakujua mwezi eh, miezi tisa inaishia wapi lakini alimbeba tu wakaenda kumbe anazaa wakati huo lakini hakukuwa na mahali pa kumweka yani huyu mwokozi wako mwokozi wangu anaziru, anazaliwa horini na hakukuwa na taulo alifunikwa vitambaa mama alipasua vitambaa na baba akatafua vitambaa vyao wakamfunga vitambaa huyo ndiye mwokozi wetu tunayesherehekea christmas for him there was nothing like good in it blessed be the name of the lord alizaliwa horini ha politicians now they threatened him the powers that were there herod said huyo i'm going to kill him nitamuua huyo na jambo lingine wakati amezaliwa huyu mwokozi ambaye sisi tunafurahia amezaliwa wakati amekuwa refugee kule misri na tulipotembea pale pia tukaonyeshwa mahali alikuja kufichwa na mama yake Maria. 
yani alifichwa na tukaoneshwa alifichwa na si mara moja unajua ninaposoma biblia mimi fikiria alienda tu mahali pamoja akajificha but remember the governments of those days walijuana pia kama wa siku hizi hata alipoingia kule alikuwa akitafutwa kwa hivyo alifichwa kutoka sehemu moja tulionyeshwa sehemu nyingi alikuwa akienda akifichwa 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 kwa sababu waliotaka kumua bado walikuwa kimuandama na hiyo ndiyo Christmas wewe na mimi tunawafurahia Mwishowe amehukumiwa amehukumiwa nini Caesar amehukumiwa kwamba anaenda kinyume cha Caesar kwa hivyo furaha iliyo kuu iliyotangazwa na malaika hiyo furaha lazima uipiganie kwa sababu hiyo furaha it is under attack are you hearing what i'm saying hiyo furaha the joy to the world is under attack and you and i have to fight for it it is it comes not it has a price inabei ile mgarimu yesu bwana yesu apewe sifa jambo likatendeka sio tu kutahiriwa kwake lakini jambo lingine lilitandika siku litendeka siku ile ni kuitwa jina he was named jesus aliitwa yesu hili ni jina malaika alipeana that name was given before he was conceived alipe lilipeanwa mapema bwana yesu apewe sifa na watoto wetu wana majina leo hebu niulize watoto wetu wa Kenya kuna mic ninaweza pewa tufanye mazungumzo kidogo eh, wale tumepata watoto juzi eh, tukitafuta majina wacha wale wa kikuyu wanajua jina ya katikati itakuwa ile ile unajua kuna ile ile ati huyu alizaliwa ni ile ile wacha hilo ile la kwanza hebu tuone wale walipata watoto wa juzi ama wale wanajua majina inatumia kwa siku hizi hebu tumpatie huyu huyu shosho aseme moja sema moja tu Bradley Bradley haya Bradley haya Bradley haya tutafuta mwingine unafikiria jina gani patia shosho mwingine hapo kuna shosho washo ndio wanajua majina eh Salem 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 we majina powerful eh, kwa, sasa utupatie shosho patia eh, tafuta mtu ambaye sio shosho sasa umetafuta shosho sana mpatie huyo dada ndio bas very good sema tu wanapewa majina gani Leilani. Eh haba sawa. Ebu nani mwingine tutatafuta? Ebu bas sawa tu. Uh, Smindra. Eh hey, Smindra. Oh my goodness. Yes 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 yes. Nani mwingine angependa kutambaa majina jina lingine? Oh kuna mwingine pale. Mpelekea atakupa jina. Wow. Jabari. Jabari. Wow wow wow. Anybody else wants to say something? Uko uko karibu mlangoni Stanford Stanford Kuna jina lingine liko pale mlangoni Angelo Todayada Angelo ay, I tell you Wow Majina Nimetembea Amerika lakini nimeona sasa wa Amerika wale wako kanisani wamebadilisha. Majina yao mengi ni ya Biblia. Kwanza wanapenda jina ya Yakobo, Jake ni wengi sana. Hata Bishop Jake, si mnamsikiaga huyo? Jacob. Wana majina Maika, Michael, 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 Michael. Matthew, 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 Joshua, Josh. Eh? Majina kali kali Christopher wana, wana Nick Nick Nicholas Nick wako huko Nick Nick Nicholas Andrew Andy Andy Joe Joseph eh? Daniel Dan na majina ya miji kama Taylor So it is interesting that majina watu utafuta na wazazi wanapotafuta majina si wanasumbukaga kama hilo jina yule dada ametaja. Si ni jina. Si ni jina. Zito kweli. Lazima ulishikamanishe. Uli, uli ni jina ndefu, ni jina kubwa. Watu usumbuka sana. Lakini hayo majina yote yametajwa, nikirudia kila mtu nimuulize maana yake. Lina maana. Jabali. 
Sini na maana. Braydon. Lina maana. Yaani haya majina yana maana. But Mary and Joseph did not have to, to agonize to look for a name what to call their name. The name of their son. The angel had given them the name. Call his name Jesus for he will save his people from their sin. They, he was given a name and the meaning of the name. Amen. The name was Jesus meaning savior. He comes, comes right from the heart of God. The name tells us who he is. Why he came. And what he will do. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Express. Apa town Roliondo Express, Nyeri Roliondo Express, Kisumo Roliondo Express, Mombasa Taita Roliondo Express. Wengine amkumbuki Roliondo ilikuwa nini? Kuna babu alikuwa anapatia watu miti shamba. Sasa Roliondo sijui ilienda wapi. Roliondo Express. Yaani ukisikia Mungu yuko mlima Kenya, si tutaupanda. Hata wale hatuwezaje kupanda si tutapanda. Mlima Kenya tutapanda na kuambia tutapanda. Kwanza wale hawataweza kupanda watakuruma. Kupanda mpaka wamsalimie huyu Mungu. Kwa hivyo huyu mzee aliposikia Mungu wako milimani akapanda. Akapanda. Naye Mungu akashuka na wakakutana. Shida ni kwa sababu hamjui. Wakakutana hakumjua ni yeye. Kwa hivyo akapanda mlimani akakasirika sana. Mungu nimekuja hayuko. Uyu mungu kwani anaendaka safari? Kwa hivyo akarudi chini. Chini ya mulima. Akakuta mungu, asha kuja, na anashugulikia shida zake. Because he shall come and save man from their sins. He will come from heaven and come and dwell with us. Atakuja kutoka mbinguni, aishi na sin. We don't have to go to heaven. Hatu itaji kuenda mbinguni. He is right here with us. Ako hapa na sisi. And I hope I'll remember that point as I bring this to a conclusion later on. Natumai nitaikumbuka nikimaliza. I suggest to you. Nataka kuambia. Alia that Joseph probably tried to do whatever he was supposed to do. Yusufu alijaribu kufanya venya alikuwa nafanya. But he could only do what God had told him to do through the angel. Lakini angefanya tu vile mungu alimuambia. To name the child that is born to him. Kumpatia mtoto jina ambao amepewa. The name that he was given. Jina ambao alikuwa amepewa. How far is God willing to go to save you? Ni umbali gani mungu anataka kukuokoa? He is willing to save the heavens. Anataka kukuokoa kutoka mbinguni. The mbingu. glory is in heaven. Utukufu huko mbinguni. To come to you. Kuja kwako. He is willing to be carried in a virgin womb. Anapenda kukuja kwako. To come and save you. Akuja ili akuokoe. He is willing to be born in a stable and wrapped in rags. Ako tayari kukuja mahali huko. Afungwe na vitambaa awekwe horini ili aniokoe na akuokoe. Yeah, he is willing to be ignored by the world. So that he can come and save you. He is willing even to be just like you, a human being. He is willing to shed his blood just for you. How far is God willing to go? Because of me. He has no reservation. There is no pit so deep that Christ cannot go for us. At Christmas time, we don't celebrate a birth of a God who is aloof away from us. A God who is so far. Mungu ambaye uko mbali sana, hapana. Mungu pamoja nasi. Ni ubali gani Mungu angependa kwenda? Ni shimo gani ambalo Mungu hawezi ingia? Bwana yu tayari kwa sababu yako nami kupenya 
ili yakutane na haja zako. Hakai binguni, alitoka binguni ili aje kutufikia. Mambo matatu na nimalize. Ya watu ninaona katika kifungu hiki cha Luka mlango wa pili. Malaika. Biblia inasema hivi and there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby keeping watch over their flocks at night. Kukaa macho. Bwana Yesu apee sifa. Kukaa macho ni muhimu. Hawa walikaa macho lakini ni kwa sababu ya mifugo yao. Hata nikikaa macho kwa biashara yangu Mungu akija nitamuona. If I'm a lot, even as I do my own business, ninapofanya chochote ninachofanya lakini niwe wazi, niwe huru, niwe macho. Yaani sio watu wae wae wakiniambia Roliondo, lakini niko macho najua the God with us ni Emmanuel. Sio lazima nipande ni kwe mlimani, nitakaa mahali hapa kwa sababu yeye yupo hapa Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Malaika hawa wachungaji walikuwa macho ndipoza malaika wa Mungu alipokuwa akitazama ni nani wako macho akawatokea hawa ambao walikuwa wakichunga walikuwa macho na ninaomba msimu huu wa Krismasi walio macho kati ya timu yetu waweze kusikia sauti ya malaika akituambia leo hii amezaliwa mwokozi amezaliwa Kristo Mungu ambaye yuko pamoja nasi Bwana Yesu apewe sifa it is those that are watching ni wale wako macho Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Jambo la pili ambalo na, naona ni huyu mtu aliyeitwa Simeoni. Biblia inasema hivi kumhusu. Now there was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon who was righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel and the Holy Spirit was on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Watu wawe macho huyu naye sio macho tu aliishi kwa utwa aliishi amejitolea Mungu aliishi akitazamia ukombozi ukombozi they that are waiting for a restoration for the salvation of this country for the salvation of the world for their own salvation kwa they will find him wao, hallelujah Amen. Simeon alitarajia Simeon aligojea na nyakati zikafika Bwana Yesu apewe sifa. Na wakati ulipofika Biblia inasema hivi katika mstari wa 27 moved by the Holy Spirit he went into the temple courts may God cause some of us to move in the direction where the Lord is because if we meet with him we will have our miracles our lives maisha yetu yatabadilishwa hebu Bwana atufikishe na Roho Mtakatifu atuongoze ili tusiwe watu tu wa kubahatisha ili tusiwe ni watu wa kutapaka hapa na pale lakini roho atuongoze ili tuweze kukutana na masia anapokuja kutenda miujiza bwana yesu apewe sifa katika majira haya bado anatenda miujiza bwana yesu apewe sifa lakini ni wale wanagoja ukombozi wao wanaogoja ukombozi wa watu wanaogoja ukombozi na wakubali roho waongoze hao watamuona mwokozi bwana yesu apewe sifa Biblia inasema aliingia wakati unaofaa. Unajua kuna watu uingia wakati ambao haufai. Unaingia unaambiwa ameenda. Unasikiaga aje. Unajua kuna maombi mazuri tuwe tukiomba. Bwana, ninaomba nikute parking. Unajua Nairobi siku hizi inataka maombi ya kufunga kabisa. Bwana, mimi nataka kwenda Harambe House. Amen. Nataka parking na unataja pahali unaitaka nataka parking kwa sababu wengine wetu tumekosa baraka au tumekosa parking may the lord cause you to find a parking when you are looking for an appointment yani tusije tukakosa yani aliingia wakati unaofaa kufika tu kwa mlango huyu Yesu hata hakuambiwa na mtu alisikia roho anamwambia kamodo ni waoka ndiye huyu ule umekuwa ukisubiri ndiye huyu yani at the right time sio kubahatisha sio kuulizia kale katoto kalikuwa kazaliwe kaletwe kadisani kamekuja ah kwa sababu utapewa vitoto vya ajabu na kweli herode aliua watu wa bure kwa sababu mwokozi mwenyewe alikuwa ashahepa bwana yesu apewe sifa ninaomba hivi katika siku hizi tatu zimebakia bwana huyo mwokozi wetu ambaye alikuja ili atukomboe akukomboe wewe na anikomboe mimi tuweze kumuona vile simioni 
alivyomuona bwana yesu apewe sifa kumbuka wa kwanza wachungaji walikuwa macho sio watu wa kulala watu wako macho tuwe macho bwana yesu asifiwe wa mwisho tunamuona katika mstari wa 36 inasema hivi there was also a prophet anna the daughter of penuel of the tribe of asher she was very old she had lived with her husband seven years after her marriage and then was a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple but worshiped night and day, fasting and praying. Coming up to them at that very moment. Huyu naye alikatalia hekaluni. Hebu bwana atusaidie tukatalie mahali ambapo baraka zako zipo. Baraka zetu zipo hapa. Nilienda kwa harusi nyingine nikasikia mtu amesema hivi na ni kweli kabisa. Ukitaka mke mzuri right mtafute kanisani na uulize bishop wake Unajua shida yenu amuniulizagi Unaniambiaga tu dadhiru rashio Usiongeniambia kabla sasa ukiniambia unaenda sasa nitakwambia nini Lakini ba, kabla it's always good to bishop kuna huyu dada kwa sababu <laughs> hebu nikwambie kisa na maana kuna marafiki zangu wako mahali fulani si wamesumbuka si huyo ndugu hata amefungwa jela miaka kadhaa miaka zaidi ya hizi ya 28 na nane. mimi nilikuwa mchungaji tulitoka hapa tukaenda kutafuta huyo kijana kwao kwa sababu alikuwa akioa dada ambaye tulimheshimu kanisani pale ICD. Sasa watu wa ICD antena zao zinaanza kufunguka. Fungukeni sitawaambia ni nani. Tulipoenda kule tukaambiwa ashaoa ana mke pale embu. Tulipoambia yule dada akasema amna. Nimepata ni wangu hizo story sitaki hebu nimuulize ulikuwa umeoa hapana sikuwa nimeoa nini nilifanyika tulienda hivi tukapitia maveve ni tukaenda hivi tukaenda hivi tukakaa pamoja tukalala hivi tukapata mtoto mimi nikahepa ya kahepa hiyo ni kuoa msichana akatuuliza hiyo ni kuoa wewe utasema nini hiyo kweli si kuoa what was i saying eh ka ka tulia tulia kama hana tulia <laughs> goja bwana na atakuja 84 what was she waiting for she was waiting for the messiah did he show up yes did he she, she did not ask anybody at that time she also walked in simeon amepata mtoto ametangaza sasa niko tayari kufa can you imagine what i've been waiting for i've seen it i'm ready to die alafu saa hiyo hiyo naye mama naye anaingia sembuleni hapo tu naye kuona anajua ye, hata yeye amerithika bwana yesu asifiwe sana kwa hivyo ukukaa kanisani mhubiri huyo alisema watu wale wazuri wanakaa kanisani lakini kanisani tunajua kuna kuchaka jangili na mikora kama huyo nimewaambia na wale wanaweza kukusaidia ndi sisi kwa sababu you are not interested you know i'm not interested i don't want to marry you but i can help you to be married by a good person see I'm not interested for you to marry me I'm a man. I'm interested for you to marry the right person. Are you getting the point? Utastuka mwenyewe. Kuna wengine wanastukwa kwa wenyewe. Karibu saa zimeisha lakini niseme hivi. Kuna jamaa mmoja ambaye hakuuliza pastor wake. Aliangalia tu kwa TV kaona dada alikuwa mwimbaji akishika mic anaimba vile ujaona we Samuel wacha kucheka Samuel anakumbuka hiyo story akishika mic anaimba sana na ndio jua America ni kuzuri sana unaweza propose na uoe the same day na muoe na hapo hapo na mambo ishie pale watu wa kuoza wanakuaga kuna tubuthu huko you can It's not big deal. 
Haka propose wakaoana wakaenda honeymoon. Hapo hapo. Oh. Ile upendo ya first sight. When I went to Sweden to school kuna msichana tulitoka naye Sweden kwenda Holland lakini mimi nilikuwa nikienda London. Tumepewa lift na principal wetu. Tunaanza kuongea. Alafu kama msichana kanaanza kuleta stories laugh at first sight. Namwambia hakuna kitu kama hiyo. Hiyo ni urongo. Irongo rongo mnadanganyagwa. How can you marry somebody you don't know anyway? Wacha tuachane na huyo tulisoma naye miaka hiyo. Labda alifikiria nitamleta Afrika. No. <laughs> Aifanya kagi hivyo. Muonane tu miezi mitatu ati miezi sita hakuna kuna kuna. Si wameona wameenda honeymoon. Sasa jamaa hey, wacha aone maajabu. Huyo mama akat kitu cha kwanza kutoa ni kofia. Dada wengi tunajua tunavaa kofia. Na kofia huwa inafunika maajabu. Inaweza funika nywele ambao haija kwa muda mrefu ama nywele ambao hakuna. Akaona uparangoto. Akastuka. <laughs> Unajua kuna mimi nimeoa Alice kwa muda mrefu sikuwa nikijua kofia na nywele. Can you imagine? Karibu namwambia ile nywele ulikuwa ile nywele yako ile inakuwaga hivi. Sio ndio ungeenda utengenezwe na kwa sababu mimi fikiri nilikuwa nikifikiria akienda kwa makanika wa nywele anakuta. <laughs> But he helped me. Kanaambia hii ni kofia na hii ndio nywele yangu. Sasa nywele yake ndio hiyo yako na wana kofia. Kitu cha pili alifanya ni kufuta kitu kingine wadada tunapakaga kwa uso makeup ndio ukitoa makeup unakuwa wewe halisi wewe ile nyanya nyanya ulikuwa umeweka huko ati kuna nyanya nyanya hapa ukifuta hiyo nyanya inakuwa hamna jamaa moyo akashikilia moyo bado lakini dada bado anasimaye akaguza mahali hapa ka akachomoa mguu akaweka kando akasongea kwa kitanda akavinya hapa ka akatoa jicho akaweka kando sasa wewe bwana uko pale sasa umeoa chongo uparangoto hana mguu unajua alisema nini sema hapana usitoe nguo rudisha nguo endelea kuimba hiyo ni bure tukusaidie hana alimuona bwana kwa sababu alimtarajia na alimgojea mahali pale she was fasting and she was also looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem the people that can find Jesus wale ambao tunaweza muona Yesu ni wale tunao mtarajia kama umtaraji mtapitana lakini kama utamtarajia na uombe bwana usikuta yamehepa uwe mahali pale wakati unapostahili utaona muujiza wake